When we're performing property inspections, one of the common things we tend to see are what are called co-dominant stems. And this is a situation where we have two trunks growing off of a common base. It's not necessarily a bad thing, and it's something that we can easily treat for by installing a mechanical cable high up in the tree that helps reduce the likelihood that this tree may split from this situation. Being a mechanical system is something that should be inspected on a regular basis uh, by your arborist, perhaps every other to every third year. One of the large tr ash trees on the property has developed some co-dominant stems. However, this time the cells are in parallel and presents a very, very hazardous situation because this is a, a tree that we've all seen that will split apart very easily. This would definitely be a tree that we would want to cable right away. Uh, we typically would find these on ash trees, uh, pines, and, and maple trees. And as you can see, the line extends all the way down the trunk of the tree. And that's an indicator that there are two separate systems that follow the trunk up. In the course of my inspection, I noticed that at the base of this tree, there was a large amount of sawdust that you can see right here. This sawdust is caused by carpenter ants, and we call it frass. Now, a lot of people think that the ants are the problem, that they're causing harm to the tree. Well, in fact, the ants, uh, unlike termites, only live in decayed wood. So what that's telling you is that this tree does have some decay and that there are carpenter ants that are using this as a place to live. However, in this particular case, uh, it is not going to be a problem because the tree has a very good sound rooting system. We've investigated the tree a little bit further and can tell that the decay really has not spread and that the tree is still in, in a good condition 